Well, guys, there was a lot going on yesterday from Cardi B filing for divorce from Offset to her announcing that she is pregnant with their third child. So there has been a rumor going around for about a month or so that Cardi B is pregnant with baby number three. Now, you guys know the news came out yesterday that she's divorcing Offset for the second time. So she decided to reveal that she is pregnant with a baby number three. She posted some pictures with her baby bump on full display with the caption that says, with every ending comes a new beginning. I'm so grateful to have shared this season with you. You have brought me more love, more life, and most of all, renewed my power, reminding me that I can have it all. You've reminded me that I never have to choose between life, love, and my passion. I love you so much and cannot wait for you to witness what you helped me accomplish, what you pushed me to do. It's so much easier taking life's twists, turns, and tests and laying down, but you, your brother, and your sister have shown me why it's worth it to push through. So shortly after we got the news that Cardi B is divorced and offset for the second time and that she is pregnant with a baby number three, Offset decided to record himself sleeping. Well, not sleeping. I'm not going to say sleeping, but he was in the back of a car and a lot of people felt like Cardi B had kicked him out of the house. Well, of course, people in the comment section had something to say. One person said, I know a stress ninja when I see one. He cheated and then moved into his car. He landed in the backseat like he just got a BBL. Another user chimed in and said, trying to make it seem like he's okay, a typical. And this person said, now she got him sleeping in the family van. Someone else said he trying to act unbothered. And then this user chimed in and said, after he posted this, he texted her, so we really done. And then somebody else said, somebody check on his mental. In just a couple of years, he lost his group Migos, his family takeoff, and his wife and kids. He can't be doing well. And someone else said, it's given I got kicked out. Well, today, TMZ reported that Cardi B wants primary custody and that she also wants Offset to cough up some child support. TMZ says Cardi B's divorce filing from Offset just got a lot more interesting because we now know she wants her estranged hubby to cough up child support, including for their third baby. TMZ has obtained the divorce docs and they spell it out clear as day, noting the couple is expecting their third child together. And not just that, but Cardi is demanding offset cough up a dough to help support their three kids. As we told you, she's also seeking primary custody of the children, something that's also confirmed in the divorce filing here. In terms of why they're splitting, Cardi is citing irreconcilable differences with no chance of patching things up. One last thing that's noteworthy about the docs, Cardi says she wants their personal property acquired during their marriage to be divided equally. So basically everything that they got while they was married, she wanted to be split equally. She also wants child support and she also wants primary custody of their three children. Well, you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. I'm moving on to the next topic. So Summer Walker is out here defending Nicki Minaj against Spotify. So Spotify basically had an exhibition called the Gold Standard Exhibition. And from what they say, it's the ladies that's setting the bar for hip hop right now. So you can see Lotto, Ice Spice, you see Megan Thee Stallion, Sexy Red, and you see them, but you don't really, really see like the women of hip hop. And a lot of people notice that you do not see Nicki Minaj. So that's when Summer Walker decided to defend Nicki Minaj. Summer Walker commented under the Shade Room post and said, I don't even listen to Hella Nikki because I'm an R&B lover, but where is the queen or Lil' Kim? At least or Missy Elliott, this mad disrespectful. This why I make my music and go home. The industry is weird. So, of course, like, why do you not see Nicki Minaj? Like, Nicki Minaj hasn't been, you know, carrying female rap for a long time time so of course a lot of people feel some kind of way like the only person you don't see is Nicki Minaj or Missy Elliott or Lil Kim but a lot of people are bringing up the fact that you do not see Nicki Minaj. Well moving on to the next topic a lot of people feel like Halle Bailey and DDG have broken up because she posted some cryptic messages but I feel like it's about her being separated from Halo right now. 
So she says, well, well, this post says, God knows the when, the why, and the how. He knows the right time, the right door, and the right opportunity. So just show up and do your part and let him handle the rest. And then another post says, to the woman I was, I love you. To the woman I am, I'm proud of you. To the woman I'm becoming, I'm excited for you. She then posted this about her crying puffy eyes. And then she basically posted some posts about motherhood. Hallie then posted an x-ray of, I guess, a mother kissing their baby. She also posted this post that says, wake up, you're alive, act like it, get up, shower, make the call, send the text, think bigger, act today. This all ends, why are you afraid, what are you waiting for, go one more mile, two more, three ditch Netflix, lose your phone, escape to the forest, be present in a world of distraction. Most people say time flies, I don't let it. And then she says, K okay, bye again. So it seems like, you know, she just had a little emotional dump I feel like about being separated from Halo because if you guys know she says she has separation anxiety when she's away from Halo be right now let me just maybe I should just go so now I'm here in Virginia and I'm filming for the next few months and I'm really really proud of myself guys because I I didn't think that I could do it just because of the way that I've been um just so obsessed and so close with my baby. I was just like, how am I gonna do that and film and rehearse and take care of my baby and still try to do all of these things. Um, but I'm doing it and I'm having so much fun out here. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these topics down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.